Hello Leo, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a tarot card reading for Leo. All Leo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you've got Leo in your chart or in your life, there's something in this message for you. And as always, cross watchers are welcome here too. So let's begin. Messages for Leo, please. What does Leo need to know? Okay, so we've got the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, and we've got the Ace of Pentacles here that wanted to show through, as well as the Nine of Pentacles. All right, let's start. The King of Wands is like an entrepreneur. He's very independent. He's got his own thing going on. He probably spends a lot of time alone with this Nine of Pentacles energy here. This is somebody who enjoys solitude, enjoys spending time alone, and is really good at filling their free time or their spare time with interesting activities, things like hobbies and special interests. And um, they usually end up gaining money or health prosperity, wealth, some kind of abundance, whether, you know, because pentacles is like financial or it can be physical, like health related, something you're doing in your spare time. And then with the ace of pentacles here too. So I am drawn to the little snail. Have you ever noticed the little snail on the nine of pentacles down at the bottom there? It's not a detail that often catches my eye and I don't really tend to look at it very much. The snail is very unassuming and it, it doesn't ask for a lot of attention of the humble snail, you know, slowly but surely, patiently making its way, doesn't really look for attention, you know. The King of Wands is more of an attention seeker or a go-getter. Um, even if he's not seeking attention, he definitely gets a lot of attention because he can be very bold. He stands out in some kind of way usually has a very big personality, is a large person. And, um, you know, even if they have a small stature, this is a large personality, you know, King of Wands, masculine fire sign energy, Leo, this is your energy. We also have Leo here too, as well. And Saturn and Leo with the five of wands, but we'll get to that. So this is somebody who's very independent and is spending a lot of time alone and is used to it and is, taking the lead or pioneering or trailblazing in some kind of way, mastering some kind of craft. I, I do see, okay, something you're doing here with the eight, the nine, and the ace of pentacles, you are quietly in your spare time, in your free time, modestly making some kind of financial investments or focused on building up your inventory, building up your skill set, your pentacles here. This is a lot of money coming your way. This is a money path opening up to you, for you. You could be starting your own business in this. Starting some kind of, yeah, like a startup. This is like taking the lead on a project, taking the lead role on a project, and you're gaining a lot of money, a lot of financial abundance from whatever it is that you're doing. And maybe it takes time, you know, with the snail, that humble snail, I keep thinking about it, slowly but surely building up this, this financial gain, these gains that you're making. This is really great. Very positive. All right. So we'll put this here. Anything else? Yeah, there's the page of pentacles. So this is giving like studying, practicing your skills, working on these skills. This is something that's new to you. It may involve an earth sign. I've especially got Virgo here, Venus in Virgo, the sun in Virgo. You may have this in your chart or in your life. There is a younger earth sign energy here as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But what are, what are these two? The strength card here, that's your card. And then you've got the five of wands, which is like Saturn in Leo. This is telling me that your discipline is helping you to overcome some kind of resistance. There's resistance and you are pushing through it. There is, 
competition or conflict here inside or outside of yourself that you, you know, it's weighing you down and it's like making it harder for you to push through, but you are, you're pushing through and it's about discipline and self-control. It's also about living your life to the fullest and enjoying yourself, enjoying your life, having luxury or leisure time, a lot of free time to explore your interests and to invest in, what is this? Yeah, something that you're working on. We've got Sagittarius and we've got Taurus energy here. This is something that is long lasting. What you're working on right now is bringing you to a place of long lasting endurance and enduring timeless abundance is what I'm trying to say. Long lasting physical security financial security and independence. Something that you're working on right now, very quietly, maybe behind the scenes, just diligently focused, determined. You have the strength to push through this competition, to push through this resistance. There is a feeling of powerlessness whenever I see the five of wands, like there's so much working against you in this. There's so much you have to overcome in that. And so it just looks to me like all of this energy is being directed towards putting away some money, working on your skills, building up your inventory, building your skills, building your health, building your bank account. There's a need to be quiet about this for some reason, to do this kind of quietly, there are a lot of reservations here, being very reserved, sort of like, <sighs> the King of Wands is not a reserved archetype. He's loud, he's boisterous, he's a little flamboyant maybe, he's very demonstrative, he's an action-oriented, action-adventure-seeking type. You know, when he was younger, he may have been very spontaneous, very impulsive, but he's kind of mature, but he's still has that streak in him where he still likes the adrenaline rush. He he tells us, the King of Wands says to us, it's time to take action. It's time to take the lead, to be bold, to be strong, and to be outspoken about what you want, what you believe in, what you're working on. But there's so much here as well about being quiet and reserved and taking it easy and being patient, having patience and moderation. Temperance card again is all about the patience and moderation, something that you're working on, something that you're studying, something that you're doing in your free time, in your spare time, quietly by yourself, is bringing you into the right place at the right time preparing you for something, preparing you for this long lasting king of pentacles, the moon. Okay. Yeah. This is a strong indication that something that you're doing quietly behind the scenes is putting yourself in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing in order to receive and recognize an opportunity to recognize the opportunity to receive it and to take advantage of it, to act on it. So something that you've been working towards, it's it's like it's time to act. It's time to take action. But I get that there's a lot of friction slowing you down. It's like you have to push through the resistance in order to see the results. So there's such a strong desire, very strong creative drive here with the strength card. I mean, Leo, that's you. That's the sun card is your, is your planet. And that's all about like creative self-expression. You may be an artist or you may be just building something or you're an entrepreneur of some kind or whatever it is that you're doing. Pushing through resistance and seeing the results over time and having the patience but also the dedication and the determination and the endurance in order to endure this and to push through. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave it today. That's your message today, Leo. I hope this was helpful. This is a general reading for Leo. But if you'd like some more personal details, for instance, about this money path that is opening up for you, it's like you're seeing the results here, you're getting the reward for merit. 
Okay, so we could do a personal reading to get more personal details if you'd like to email me. But that's what I've got for you today, Leo. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal, my email is in the description box below. You can email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one, okay?